In this video, I will provide you with some examples of what the forms will look like, the rebar and the anchor bolts for the 850 square foot house that we are building the series. And there will be links throughout the video to that series and uh, at the end of the video, don't forget to check that out. Uh, sometimes at the end of the video, I'll put a link to the next video also. So here we have the forms. Um, two by six and uh, we just have uh, stakes and you can usually get these in bundles or make your own if I have scrap wood I just make my own they're usually two and a half to three inches wide and made out of three quarter inch material or one by the footing here is going to be 12 inches wide 12 inches high and then we're going to have a five inch wide slab so five inches down and then 12 inches so from the top of the forms to the bottom of the footing should be 17 inches 12 plus 5. another view of it here with our kitchen plumbing drain pipe put our rebar in here now this is the rebar for the um, footings and the engineers usually have it center usually needs to center and this can actually be a problem I've uh, encountered plenty of plans and uh, if you have feel free to share your stories in the comment area you know the architect will draw the um, rebar where they want it centered and this is a 12 inch footing if you come to a 15 inch footing um, or larger the problem becomes uh, more more of a problem and um, they usually want the top bar, the top rebar, to tie to the anchor bolts. And uh, that usually isn't, you can't have it both ways. You can't center the rebar in the footing and uh, have it tied to the rebar unless you're going to be um, building the house a little different. So keep that in mind if you are ever uh, looking at a set of plans. And the rebar, of course, will lap 20 times the diameter of the um, rebar. We have number four rebar here. It's half inch diameter. And if we multiply one half times 40, we're going to get 20, 20 inches. So 20 inches would be the minimum lap for something like this. Now you're probably wondering, what in the heck is this? This is about a four foot lap. You are going to come to situations like these where you you don't need a scrap piece of rebar that's going to be a foot or two foot long something like that if that's the case don't cut it just let the rebar um, extend past you know i i've actually came to jobs before where everything was cut perfectly it might have been an inch over you know they might have had 21 to 22 inch laps on everything and then a big pile of rebar off to the side i just doesn't make any sense let it run through and of course we have our plumbing drain box here this is going to be something you're gonna have to form in if you're going to be using a bathtub for your in your building you need a place to be able to hook the trap up to and uh, this might make a little more sense later on in the video might you be able to make more sense out of it and of course our rebar is spaced 24 inches on center except in this area here that is because if we spaced it 24 inches on center here these are all 24 inches apart we would end up would have ended up with one going right through our tub drain box so we had to move it over and uh, this might be a situation where you're going to have to be um, you're going to have to be aware of you know you have a toilet hey you know what i like this plan but i'm going to move the toilet i'm going to move some of this stuff if that's the case you're going to move any of the plumbing you're also going to have to move the rebar uh, or there will be a possibility that you'll have to move it um, if you do any changes to it and i say that and the reason why i'm trying to make you aware of that is you've got to be double checking all these measurements you know when you put your plumbing in and you have your form boards in here um, you know, if you were just off an inch, you know, you, these measurements uh, for your pipes could be off an inch and that could create a big problem for your foundation. So obviously you're going to want to start with the correct um, 
places to start. You know, if you have a batter board set up or um, some type of a guideline for your forms, make sure that those things are right on the money. And uh, otherwise you're going to be, and, and I, I run into that a lot when I'm drawing these um, detailed um, designs like this. I'll come in and I'll move something or I'll space this and then it's like, uh, oh man, and this mistake uh, cost me an hour or two of just in my design phase. That's not the case when you're in the construction. You make a mistake like this and you got to move these plumbing pipes. You can just imagine that's going to be more than two hours of work. The rebar for the slab usually bends over and connects to both of the um, bottom and the top footing rebar. Let's put our anchor bolts in here. Our anchor bolts um, usually have a minimum embedment, by the way. Um, it might be um, seven or eight inches. And if that's the case, you're going to have to make sure that you get bolts long enough for that. Here we are using 12 inch anchor bolts but uh, 12 inches with the um, two inches sticking up above is going to give you 10 inches minimum embedment basically or even nine inches so that would work if, if you're working with a seven inch minimum embedment and again i'm not going to provide you with all the information on how to build something like this how to pour the concrete how to set all the rebar these are just examples of how it should look um, where the parts should be if you're building a house like this. Now, the anchor bolts here are just kind of one to throw out. Um, this is where the front door is going to go. And then the bathtub here. These anchor bolts here are spaced closer together because there's going to be a break here in the um, wall framing plate. So the treated lumber that's usually going to sit on top of the concrete. Now, if you're going to locate your break in a different spot, which you can, you can locate it in a different spot. You're also, that means you're just going to have to adjust the anchor bolts accordingly. So if you move the brakes, you don't follow what, what I'm doing here exactly, then you're going to have to move those also. And here's another spot where there is a break. And if I wanted to move the brake over, I would just simply move these bolts over in that uh, over that spot and then adjust the other anchor bolts accordingly. There's our concrete slab. Anchor bolt sticking up the right height. Finished slab. Let's pull the forms. And that is it. See, if it, if it could be that easy, it wouldn't be, uh, houses wouldn't cost that much if we could just do it like this. So anyway, that is it for this video. Any questions, leave them in the comment area. And uh, I will put a link, like I said, to each, to the next video at the end of the video when that video is completed.